Ghana Cocoa Board signing ceremony for 1.8 billion US dollars receivables back trade facility for the 2016-17 cocoa season 21st September 2016 in Frankfurt Germany The chief executive of Ghana Cocoa Board Dr Stephen Kwabina Upuni and senior management of Cocoa Board and its subsidiary Cocoa Marketing Company CMC were in Frankfurt, Germany to sign their annual receivables back pre-export trade finance facility for 2016-17. The amount raised this year was 1.8 billion US dollars. As per the order of the day, the event started with a pre-signing ceremony where the CE of CocoBod, Dr. Apuni, CMC manager, Mr. Bennett Akantwa, along with the lead arrangers, signed the first set of the loan documents. First time in 24 years that we're actually having the signing of this uh, uh, here in Germany. Dr. Markus Schneck, the group chief financial officer at Deutsche Bank, called the main ceremony into action by welcoming all and introduced the chief executive of CocoBod to address the gathering. I'm highly delighted to address such a distinguished group of people during the signing ceremony for the 1.8 billion US dollar receivable back trade finance facility for 2016-17 cocoa season. Dr. Stephen Kwabena Opany in his speech thanked the banks for making the facility available to Cocoa Bod for the 24th year running despite the challenges facing the world cocoa industry. The chief executive went further to assure the banks that Ghana Cocoa Board, with support of government, is making frantic efforts to support cocoa farmers to address these challenges. Dr. Opany said the board is supporting cocoa farmers to improve upon soil fertility of their cocoa farms through the free fertilizer distribution program. Apart from this, cocoa board through our extension officers teach our farmers to adhere by good agronomic practices and we also educate our farmers on methods of early detection of the solid shoot, cocoa solid shoot viral disease that affect cocoa farms. Ladies and gentlemen, as part of our efforts to improve upon productivity, Cocoa Board is providing free hybrid seedlings to our farmers. Last year, we provided 50 million seedlings free of charge. And this is equivalent to about 42,000 hectares of cocoa farm. This was given freely to our farmers. This year, we've already given 57 million free hybrid seedlings, and in all we're going to give 60 million free hybrid seedlings. This will be equivalent to 50,000 hectares of cocoa farm, and we're going to continue with the 60 million free hybrid seedlings to our cocoa farmers every year. This government and cocoa policy. This is what we need to do to support our farmers to sustain productivity. But to mitigate the effects of climate change, Cocoa Board is collaborating with the Forestry Commission of Ghana and the Ministry of Land and Natural Resources to promote agroforestry systems. Our local farmers are also being educated to engage in environmentally friendly practices on their farms. Following the speeches, Mr. Geoffrey Wynne, Head of Trade and Export Finance Group at Sullivan and Worcester London Office, the legal representative for CocoBod, invited CocoBod and the banks to commence the signing of the loan facility. The fully underwritten facility was arranged by Bank of Tokyo Mitsubishi UFG Limited, Deutsche Bank AG, Natixis, Nedbank Limited, acting through its London branch, Nedbank, Cooperative Rabobank UA, Rabobank, Societe Generale and Standard Chartered Bank, 
Together, the Coordinating Initial Mandated Lead Arrangers, or CO-IMLAs, with the cooperation of DZ Bank AG, Deutsche Zentral Genossenschaftsbank, Frankfurt am Main, together with the CO-IMLAs, the Book Runners, and Ghana International Bank PLC, the Initial Mandated Lead Arranger, or the IMLA, together with the CO-IMLAs and Book Runners, the Arranger Group. The Arranger Group was joined in senior syndication by Bank of China, Credit Agricole Corporate and Investment Bank, Intesa San Paulo, Dubai Branch, Rand Merchant Bank, a division of First Rand Bank Limited, Sumitumi Mitsui Banking Corporation, ABN Amro Bank NV, and KFW IPEX Bank GmbH as senior mandated lead arrangers, and joined subsequently in general syndication by Standard Bank Group, State Bank of India, Mitsuo Bank, Barclays, Adi Jarawafa Bank Europe, EcoBank Ghana, and Fidelity Bank. Present to witness the signing was a Government of Ghana delegation led by the Deputy Minister for Finance, Honorable Atto Forsen, and the Ghana Ambassador to Germany, Her Excellency Ekwa Sena Dansua. Also present from Cocobot was the Deputy Chief Executive for Finance and Administration, Mrs. Myriam Okwabi, Director Finance, Mr. Charles Dodu, Director Legal Services, Mr. Clote Sefa, and Manager CMC UK, Mr. Musa Lembouni. Cobod's trade finance facility dates back to 1992-93, when Cocobod, during the NDC government regime, turned to international finance market for short-term loan to finance Coco purchases. This was necessitated at the time, as the board could not raise finance locally due to increases in production of the crop and the central bank's inability to raise such amounts. The amount raised is usually payable within 11 months and is secured on forward sales contracts on cocoa beans to be produced in the coming cocoa crop year. The forward sales strategy also ensures stable income for the farmer and supports national revenue planning. The global reputation of Cocoa Marketing Company, CMC, a subsidiary of CocoaBod, in the performance of its sales and contract obligations, further contributes to the premium that counterparties pay for Ghana Cocoa Beans. Since the inception of this facility, the amount raised annually has increased from 140 million US dollars in 1992 to 93 to 2 billion US dollars in 2010-11. CocoaBod has never defaulted on its debt obligation and ensure the loan is repaid before its due date. Following a successful signing ceremony, Mr. Michael Spiegel, Global Head for Trade Finance and Cash Management Corporate at Deutsche Bank AG London, in a short speech, congratulated CocoaBod for another successful syndication. He presented a gift on behalf of the bank's present to the chief executive of CocoaBod. Mr. Spiegel went to propose a toast to celebrate a successful ceremony. We are pleased to say that we've been in this with Cocoa Board for 24 years. We congratulate them. It's an excellent management team and uh, we look forward to working with them in the years to come. We know that uh, some years have been a bit difficult because of weather, uh, El Nino that affected uh, this year's production uh, in, in Ghana. Uh, but still, uh, the country has uh, succeeded in uh, reaching uh, at, uh, almost 800,000 tons of cocoa. And uh, we believe, as the weather is, has shown better this year, we believe that the next season will, will yield more crops again. And we wish all the best to Cocoa Board. We wish all the best to Ghana. And as a bank in Ghana, uh, we are willing to remain one of the most important finances. We've been financing Cocoa Boat for 23 years and it's an honor today to be here hosting the cocktail reception on the occasion of the signing of the 2016-17 facility and we are part of the arranging group this year and we wish Cocoa Boat and the country all the best. 
and we have a long history of supporting Coco Bar and we're really happy uh, to be part of yet another successful uh, year for Coco Bar. We've been participating in the financings for Coco Bar for a very large number of years. We're very happy to be part of this season as well and we hope that with the new endeavors for development and sustainability of cocoa production there will be many more financings to come. We believe in cocoa ball, we believe in the economy of Ghana. That is why year on year we continue to participate and as I said it's been good. I mean they usually pay down even before the end of the tenor and I believe that uh, cocoa board is a very solid institution and uh, we'll continue to partner cocoa board and we'll continue to invest anytime there's opportunity. And we have the privilege of documenting this facility as we have done for a number of years. As always, very successfully done. Everybody signed perfectly. And I now wish Ghana Cocoa Board well with the US dollar 1.8 billion, um, the production and sale of cocoa and the repayment of the facility. And I look forward to celebrating this again next year. Thank you. We are happy to be associated with this successful signing of the Coco Purchase Agreement for the next season 2016-2017. And I say so because this is the very first time in 24 years that this agreement is being signed here in Germany. And um, well, we want to take this opportunity to congratulate the Coco Board and all the banks that have been part of this uh, wonderful process to ensure that uh, farmers, cocoa farmers in Ghana are well remunerated for their toils and also that the cocoa industry continues to grow from strength to strength. 1.8 billion was signed in September last year in Paris. By April this year, the banks, because of the confidence they have in cocoa board, they gave us an additional 200 million because there was extra cocoa to be bought, making up 2 billion. And I'm proud to say that we have paid all the 2 billion US dollars that we took from the banks last year. Today we've signed 1.8 billion US dollars. If along the line we think we have more cocoa during the 16 17 season, we will ask the banks for more money. But in the meantime, we sign for 1.8 US. 1.8 billion US dollars. This will ensure that the Ghanaian cocoa farmer will be promptly paid uh, for their produce because this loan is basically for the purchase of cocoa. And uh, as I said, Ghana Cocoa Board has never defaulted in the loan repayment and we're going to work hard to ensure we repay this loan on schedule so we we'll remain. Um, one of the most credible borrowers in sub-Saharan Africa. Um, last year, because of the severe hamatan that we experienced from December 2015 till March 2016, um, initially our crop was good, but because of the hamatan later, um, it was badly affected by the weather conditions. However, we almost were able to make our target. We are targeted to buy 850,000 metric tons during the 15-16 cocoa season, but we are just around 80,000 metric tons. Um, this is not bad. We would have made more had it not been for the bad uh, weather. The rain started this year early. By end of March it has started. Cocoa Board was able to support the farmers with a free fertilizer program. Farmers got their fertilizer early enough and started applying it, it coincided with the rainfall. So we are confident that our target of 850,000 to 900,000 metric tons for the 16, 17 will be able to achieve that. Um, the rains have started again. There was a break for two months, July and uh, August. Um, now it's raining heavily again in Ghana, especially in the cocoa growing areas. And uh, we are hopeful and we pray that this year the weather will continue to be good so we are able to achieve our target. And uh, we, as Ghana Cocoa Ball, with the support of the government of Ghana, will continue to support our farmers with a free fertilizer distribution program, free mass spraying. And also, I mentioned in my speech, we're supporting the farmers with free hybrid seedlings. These are high yielding seedlings, and then it takes two years 
to, 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 to produce the, 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 the cocoa. So we are hoping that come five years, we'll be able to cross one million metric tons. We don't want to see a generation gap in cocoa farming. That is why we initiated a youth in cocoa farming program, which is aimed at motivating the, the Ghanaian youth to go take cocoa farming as a lucrative agricultural, agricultural venture. And already we've been able to register about 40,000 young men and women who are already in cocoa farming. They are also being supported with the free, fertili uh, free fertilizer program, free mass spraying program, and also um, the free hybrid seedlings that farmers take for free. And um, last year we raised 50 million seedlings, which is equivalent to about 42,000 hectares of local farm. This year we've done 60 million, and we'll continue the 60 million free seedlings that farmers will get from us every year. And if we do that annually, for the next 10 years, we're going to um, add about 500,000 hectares of cocoa, new cocoa farm because each 60 million ceiling that we do is equivalent to 50,000 hectares of farm. If we do that for 10 years, we're going to have about 500,000 hectares of farm. And then, um, which means that after 10 years, if each hectare is producing about um, one ton to five, 1.5 tons per hectare, then we are going to have about 500,000 to 750,000 metric tons of cocoa. And um, if we consider that currently we are producing about 750 to 800, if after 10 years we are having extra 500 to 750,000, then we cross about 1.2 million metric tons a year. But we are confident that in about five years we will be making over 1 million metric tons a year. About, um, 40% of our existing cocoa farms are either abandoned, overaged, or affected with the solar issue virus disease. So, if we consider the fact that about 1.8 million hectares of land is being used for cocoa farming, and about 40% of that is affected with the solar issue virus or the cocoa farm is overaged, I think that you can take advantage of that. Talk to farmers who have abandoned their farms since maybe they're already old. Talk to farmers whose farms are overaged, and they can go into an arrangement of them, acquire these lands, and because we don't need to encroach on the virgin forest. We need to think about the effects of climate change. We need to preserve these virgin forests, and then farm on the uh, abandoned cocoa farms, or the, 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 the overage farms. And I believe that the old farmers will be prepared to have an arrangement of any young or new farmers who want to go into cocoa farms. We must understand that all the initiatives Cocoa Board is doing for the farmers in order to sustain productivity it is with the support of government. Free hybrid seedlings, free mass spraying, and then free fertilizer program, which began in 2014. Until 2014, fertilizer was not free for farmers. It is the president, President Mahama, who directed that give free fertilizer to farmers. And then also, um, we are now constructing and improving roads in the cocoa growing areas. This is all to motivate farmers to feel more comfortable to stay in the cocoa growing communities, especially the youth. Yes. So, government and cocoa board will continue to support our cocoa farmers since we know the role cocoa play in our economy. <laughs> Open season.